Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel where we are talking about your wellness, health, fitness, nutrition, even mental health for the woman over 40. We are back in the garage gym and today we're hitting arms. I'm gonna get some shoulders too. This workout, we're gonna be using again, random objects in the house, trying to show you that you can get a good workout even if you don't have a large gym or equipment in your house. Now, if you have equipment, fantastic, you'll need some dumbbells for today. But for those who don't have equipment, we're going to be using again, random objects in the house. Today we're using detergent, Clorox bleach, and we're using a fire extinguisher and a step stool or step ladder. So um, go ahead and grab those objects. Again, if you have weights, you'll need dumbbells. And if not, we just need something for resistance. So something that you can carry. Um, if you have a can, a large can of beans, detergent, like I said today, I'm using, well, let me just show you. I got the step stool and I got the fire extinguisher, which stays in the gym and um, a bottle of, it's a full bottle of Tide and Clorox bleach. Of course, make sure the bleach is sealed. The bleach and the um, detergent is sealed. So we're gonna stretch and um, I'll let you know what the workout is and let's make this happen. So I'm going to do better, like I said in a previous video, as far as stretching and showing you ladies some stretches. So even though we're doing upper body today, it is important to get a full stretch, especially if you've been consistent with your workouts. Like for me, my lower body is super sore. So you won't see it in this video, but I will be stretching the bottom half of me. Anyway, so we are stretching tricep here. Definitely hold the stretch for a couple of seconds and you can tell which side is tighter than the other. So give that side more attention, of course. I don't expect you to get your hand back there, but it's important to have that as a goal to be able to reach there. Of course, if you have an injury, of course, we don't want to make it any worse, but definitely aim to have some really great mobility. Shoulder shrugs, shoulder circles, both directions. We are getting shoulders today, so of course we wanna get those muscles warmed up and ready. Big circles, small circles in both directions. I know for me, this actually isn't comfortable because I have an old injury. So again, just monitor how much is too much. This stretch right here, I really like it, but definitely be careful when you're doing it. So the idea is to have your palms out and you're holding onto your elbow. For some, your mobility is not that great. That's okay. You'll notice here I am traveling up my arm. As you go higher, it's easier. Have your hand on your shoulder or just have it to the side. That's fine. That stretch right there, you will feel it in the front of your shoulders. A little shake and then switch. Again, if you're able to hold on to your elbow, hold it for a couple of seconds and then stop and then hold again. Again, if not, move to the middle of your arm, move to your shoulder or put your arm straight down. You're going to feel it in the, again, the front shoulder, the anterior there. I'll show you right there, the anterior deltoid. Random item, broom, mop, whatever works. As I'm bending, I'm showing you where it should hit you. The wider, the better. The wider, the easier. And we're just passing through. Again, warming up those shoulders, those arms. And the idea is to not bend your elbow. Again, the wider your hands are, the easier it should be. If you wanna challenge, Bring in the arms a little closer, the hands a little closer on whatever object you're holding, and you'll be able to feel that it's getting a little bit harder as you're getting closer. Here I'm showing you this in slow motion. Idea is to keep the arm straight, getting to the middle of your, correction, the lower part of your back, and then eventually you'll switch directions. I have a PVC pipe, but I wanted to show you with any object you got in the house, you can totally do this stretch.
this next stretch here, you need a wall, a clear wall. I've got too much crap on my wall there. Anyway, be very careful with this stretch. Definitely stop if it hurts. Again, warming up the shoulders. You want to be really close to the wall and you are just slowly going backwards. Again, being very mindful of your shoulder. And there you have it. So ladies, here's the workout. I know it's like an algorithm here. Um, so we're gonna hit bicep triceps first, and then as you can see the arrow for the shoulders. There's a couple of shoulder movements there. Front raise, lateral raise, lateral raise, and around the world. And then we're gonna end it with some abs. Um, we're gonna keep it simple, nothing too crazy. And there you have it. Again, there's my wish list. I'm still working on it. Lots of equipment not available these days. So um, again, like I said, you're going to need some random objects for these movements and a step stool or a chair. Again, if you have a barbell, excuse me, dumbbells, go ahead and grab some dumbbells and we're gonna get this party started. So here we go with some bicep curls full movement all the way up, all the way down. And we're using the fire extinguisher. Again, whatever objects you have in your house would be just fine, long as it has a little bit of weight to it. Making sure you're not bending at the wrist. I'm just showing you a little variation here too. You can go halfway, pause, and then go all the way up, and the full extension down. Lots of different ways you can do that. Here we have tricep extension, my next random object. That's hitting that tricep, hitting that area where we don't like ladies if it's not firm and we're doing that wave and the joke that there's an extra wave when we're, um, when we're waving. We don't like those flabby arms. This workout is definitely gonna help you out with that. Showing you some different angles. So remember the bicep curl we did with the fire extinguisher. Here is another bicep curl, but with this, we're crossing over. With the bicep, there are two muscles, hence bi, meaning two. And so by doing it in a different direction, we're hitting the second head of the bicep. So this crossover, keeping the elbows tucked, and we are getting that nice little, um, that bicep curl. Here are the dips off a chair, off a bench. We're aiming to go 90 degrees, as you can see from my shoulder to elbow, it's nice and straight, and then elbow to wrist is nice and straight. I am adding weight here with my object on my lap. Here I'm adding tempo, so I'm slowing down on the bottom and then popping up on top. Of course, be careful with the pop with your elbow. Again, don't be completely straight, just be mindful of how fast you're going up. Here, still with tempo, but I took the weight off. That's perfectly fine, whatever works for you. And if you're not able to do 90 degrees, you see here, I'm doing a pump. And you can do, I would double the number. I know towards the end of the video, I say 10 to 12. With the pump, go for 15 to 20 for the pump. Here are the front raises for the shoulder. Try not to go too high. I really should be shoulder to hand nice and straight as opposed to getting the object up towards my eye. It should be shoulder level. So here I'm adding a pause. Again, you can change up the tempo. You can change up the weight. Just giving you some variation. You can do one hand or you can take both hands with your particular object and do the same exact movement. It really just depends on what your object is, what the weight is, how much resistance you want, but either way is fine. Just another angle for you. Again, I really shouldn't be, I would say it's, it's an okay height. I guess getting right to the eye is okay. Here is your lateral raise. Again, please make sure whatever object you're using, if it's liquid or chemical, that it is sealed. 
The last moment for the shoulders around the world. I like these. I have water bottles, full water bottles. There are about 20 ounces of water in them. You don't have to use any. You can use some cans, cans of beans, cans of whatever. Perfectly fine. Now, anyone who knows me knows I love push-ups. I believe women are able to do push-ups. I don't think that push-ups are just supposed to be on our knees. So these different angles I'm showing you is just the a full push-up. I'm just showing you that we are able to do them. Here's a variation. You may want a cushion for your knees. And we're still staying straight, ladies. We're not sinking in. We are still able to stay on our knees and get a nice push-up. Now here, I like to call the snake. You're peeling yourself off the floor to your knees. That's fine. Again, I'm giving you variation depending on your level of fitness. So here we are peeling ourselves from chest, stomach, thigh, and then rotate. Elbows and arms are nice and straight. Torso is still straight, even in the, uh, the curling of your body. Here is the full push-up with the snaking yourself off the floor. I'm just slowing it up for you so you can see. We are going from chest to stomach to legs we're just pulling ourselves off and i'm just going back to the knees again just to show you i'm spending a lot of time on the push-up because i really believe we're able to do push-ups it's just a variety of different ways to do it to eventually get to that full strong push-up so last part of our workout, here are the sit-ups. You notice that my the soles of my feet are together. And then here I'm switching it up. The idea here is to have the heels digging in the ground, keeping your feet on the floor, full extension on the bottom. So you notice my hands go behind my head. Here's another angle for you. Again, heels are digging to the ground. Or if you could do straight leg, heels to the ground. So here's the bicycle, nice and slow here, or if you wanna speed it up, go for it. And if you notice here, I keep the feet on the floor. Again, variation, elbow to knee. Here's another angle for you. If you wanna speed it up, if you wanna slow it down, I like doing it slow. Again, giving you some tempo ideas. And lastly, the wipers, these are hard. I won't lie. I've done half wipers, I think in another video. I have to look and attach it here. So here I break up the wiper because the wipers are very hard. You don't want to dig your hands holding on to something. You really want to use your abs to keep yourself up. So you can break up the wipers if you need to. Or keep the wipers low. They don't have to be high. Here's another angle for you. These wipers are high. Alrighty, ladies, we are done. That is a wrap. That's all she wrote. Four to five rounds, 10 to 12 reps per movement. Again, I showed you a variety of like the shoulder movements you can do with, with one object with both hands, um, with the front raise, and you could also do it, you know, alternating if you only have one using one arm first and then switching off and it would be 10 to 12 per arm again you can switch it up as far as the tempo slowing it down having a pause with any of the movements that we did you can slow it up you could add more weight um if it's not challenging enough for you but five four to five sets 10 to 12 reps is ideal again listen to your body you know you best if it's hard that's one thing if it hurts that's something else and stop and make sure you assess and Consult your doctor if you need to. So as always, ladies, um, drop a comment on the bottom. Give me a thumbs up on this video if this was helpful and um, consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, we are encouraging and empowering the women over 40. We are working out. We're talking about 
nutrition and mental health also during this time it's really important to just stay attuned just really keep moving and not just be stuck in the house so that's why i wanted to make these videos with random things in the house that you that you have in there and um, using it to your advantage for your workout so i will see you next time with a video um, uploading every monday with a chat or a workout so empowering encouraging that woman over 40 that's what we're doing here so you take care